All right, here we are. Here we are. Yes. Yes, in yeah, the door that. shot. <laughs> this is a bad screenshot, I just realized, um, from the film, but <laughs> it does its job okay. and it kind of does what I think we were hoping it would do, right? Um, mm -hmm. Before we started recording, we were trying to figure out, okay, how did we introduce this shot? And I think this shot came along kind of later on in the edit where we, I think it was more or less just trying to find another way of um, cutting from darkness to light. I think that yes. was that was the goal, you know. It's constantly yeah. like yeah. this. You're trying to find those contrast moments, right? Mm -hmm. And um, what better way to do it than to open up the chamber? And it also works for the timeline as well. I think in the edit, yeah, um, which I yeah. think is kind of cool too. I think that's yeah, one get, thing. Or sorry, go ahead. It gets con get the uh, edit more connected by uh, adding to the shot. Yeah, exactly. So the door kind of came about as an idea we were thinking would be kind of cool to, to, to cut together. And so, um, and it kind of came about naturally and we did a couple of things that were kind of changed, um, the overall, the overall, um, idea, I think from the, the source material where we would, um, we animated the camera, which I think is, is kind of cool. Um, cause I think standard, the camera is just locked in, but, um, I think having the camera um, rotate like this is kind of cool while it's opening up, which is, which is mm -hmm. kind of, which is kind of a fun idea. So, yeah. So I think this is more or less, we took a creative Liberty and we kind of went through it and, and played with it. And I was just saying how much I love this shot because it's so cheap to render. <laughs> it's like a couple minutes, you know, which is just the best. These are the best renders <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And here, here's a look at the, the fusion file. So I basically um, modeled part of the door and I don't remember where I got the source material. I don't know if I have a canvas here. Oh yeah, so this is like, this is, um, a sh this is a screenshot. And so I think I saw a screenshot from the movie. So this is one of them. That's the screenshot mm -hmm. I was looking for <laughs> to represent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't find it. So that's okay. <laughs> then I drew over it really quickly with like, I think some notes that I saw from the manga mm -hmm. from Otomo's Incredible Art, and then putting that together, there's some of the sketches and then extrusions, and then um, it's fun. I think this is like you know incredibly simple, but at the same time, it's it's quite mm -hmm. fun to make. And um, I exported this via Moments of Inspiration, and then turned it into a polygonal model, and then this is where we have this and. We had a lot of fun, I think, with this one because we did a lot of cool stuff in post, if you remember. Um, yeah. Adding in the rays and stuff, which I think really complimented us a lot. And another big thank you to our friend Raul Marks for um, giving mm -hmm. us yeah. some, some, some really useful tips on how to kind of bring a lot of life to these shots, which is great. Um, I, w I forget what it was. It was like, it was, was it Shine? We ended up using Shine in the long run? Yeah, I think Shine. Yeah, Shine. Shine. Yeah, which Shine yeah. Is, is incredible. I think Shine really works great. Um, here's the effect right here. Without Shine, it's it 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 doesn't have it doesn't have that shiny quality to it. No, yeah. Shine is it basically um, it falsifies volumetrics um, and it creates um, a fake version of volumetrics, which is really cool. So if you see it before and after, you can kind of see the effect that it mm -hmm. has, which is quite quite awesome. You know, my, one of my worries in this shot that we weren't going to see all those little details that I ended up modeling, you know, I was like, oh man, it's all going to be gone, but it actually showed up pretty decently. So that's cool. Yes. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and here's the final, what it looks like with the, the noise and all that kind of stuff on there. But yeah, mm -hmm. it turned out pretty good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I think we did good on that. And that's, that's all I can think of in regards to this shot. You know, there's some yeah. shine on yes. it. It's a simple model. It's a little bit different from the original. Um, but it was fun. It was fun making. Yeah. yeah. And I think we had yeah. a good time. Also, we added some uh, particles, right? Yes. To, yes. to boost the uh, atmosphere. Yes, yes. And I think we went through it a couple of times. We tried a couple of different things. And um, this, I don't know what this says because I can't read, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's funny. Uh, we would get files back and forth and it's I'd be like, wait, what's that? And so I had to figure it out. So... <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, I think it's just dust. It's just a dust layer. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it's a, a basic dust like layer here. 
and then here's a Photoshop file. This is like some, I think this is like a photo my friend gave me back like five years ago or something of some dust that he ended up shooting to put on some of his photos and just taking that and then setting it to a mask based on the Luma um, key. Mm -hmm. So you set it off to be like, um, you basically make a mask out of the, the brightness of the shot, which is cool. It's a cool little trick. And then you, you feather it out so you can kind of allow for the dust to only accumulate near the light spots of the shot, which is cool. Mm -hmm. It's a cool yes. effect. Yes. It does a lot of work for you. It's basically a living mask, which is awesome. So, mm -hmm. yeah, fun times. We could probably have added mm -hmm. more more to it. I think more particles probably, but I think it's good as it is. So, yeah. The worry mm -hmm. is if you add too many particles, you get a lot of this stuff where Shine picks it up and artificially, like, it puts light where you don't want it to do it, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Like, that's an error. But you guys didn't hear that. So, <laughs> yeah. Nothing's perfect, okay? All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a couple of frames. I think it's okay. It's just a couple just of frames. frames. Exactly. That's right. That's all we say, right? That's how we, that's how we deal with it. So, <laughs> and, and it re literally is. It's just a couple of frames, so... But um, I, I don't know. I think this really complements the shots well. And I think it, it, it's, it's kind of a cool way to cut between the elevator uh, and the mm -hmm. edit to, to um, I think this goes to the numbers, which is kind of cool. Like we're doing a bunch of just sequences um, that are cutting in a, same, in a similar rhythm, you know, which is interesting. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun. Anything else on this, yeah. on this good door hotness? Yeah. I think we are okay. Yeah. Let's talk about it for another yeah. couple hours then. Just a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. We're going to move on to the next shot here. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll, yes. see, we'll see you guys in the next one.